All right, guys, we're back out at Texas Roadhouse in Shively for Thursday night, bike night. Got Carl with us tonight. Carl, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Carl Sauer. I'm 76 years old. I live in Lowell all my life. I've been riding motorcycles for 60 years. And uh, I bought this bike here three years ago over the telephone without seeing it, without hearing it run. I, I saw a picture on the TV, on the, okay. com on the computer. Yep. And called the man up, made a deal over the phone. He delivered next morning from Chicago. Wow. So you said you're 76, been riding since you were 16. So you, you, you did, I'm sorry? 14. 14, okay. So so you didn't you didn't start off in a car, you started off on a bike. <laughs> That's right, uh, wizard motorbike. All right, so what, um, I'm assuming you're retired at this point. 20 years. 20 years, all right. 20 what years. what did you do before you retired? I was an electrical and refrigeration technician at Colgate Pamala. Okay. Over and over. All right, and now that you're retired, what do you spend most of your time doing? Traveling, uh, biking, going to uh, Daytona Beach with the bike each year. Okay. And we've been to Elba Beach in the state of Florida uh, the last 20 years, at least twice a year. So it's been good Okay. to get 20 years. Sure, yeah. sure. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about the bike? Well, it's a 2002 Lowrider family model made by the Boom Manufacturing Company in Germany. And I dressed the front fender out with all the chrome. I made the headlight visors. I put a Harley Davidson radio on it, a uh, backup camera. I put the plaques on, I put the saddlebags on it. And this rack here is the largest motorcycle rack in the world. Uh, they come off of a Porsche. I've got a, everything you see shiny is not chrome, it's stainless steel. Okay. The, all the motor is covered with stainless steel and due to the weight of it, I've developed uh, two cylinders here, one on each side with an air compressor that raises the body up and down if I need to do any maintenance on the road. Okay. I'll break it out. Uh, it's got a 1500cc uh, Volkswagen engine with dual carburetors run about 100 mile an hour top speed but uh, the wife sits in the middle when we go oh I have two girlfriends <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she'll kill me when she hears that yeah but it's a uh, it's a well-built machine I like to show you the front end okay on it. it's the best built front end any motorcycle I've ever seen I've been riding for over 60 years watch that It's three-quarter inch stainless steel, oh. and it's that wide. Okay. Uh, this is a fake gas tank for the accessories. Okay. I have a 10-gallon stainless steel gas tank under the back seat. Okay. So it, I can get about 250 miles on a tank. Other than that, that's, that's about it. Uh, what, what about the braking system on the bike? It has a hydraulic braking system with the right foot. The right foot operates the front wheel and the back wheels. There's no handbrake. Okay. And this is the clutch over here. It's a four-speed forward, one reverse. And when I sit down in there, that's why I need the backup camera. <laughs> right. See what's hard, behind hard to see over yeah. uh, over your shoulder with all that behind you. Yeah. I love it. The wife loves it. We. I can't ever see getting rid of it. The, the paint job that's on that, is was that there when you got it or is that something you had done? No, that was done at the factory and the way they do that from what I understand is they paint it black, let it dry and then they paint it blue and while it's wet they cover it with saran wrap and when it shrinks they pull the saran wrap off and it makes this bowling ball effect. Okay. Marble effect. All right. Well, Carl, we definitely appreciate um, the time that you've spent with us tonight. Thank you for sharing your bike, and I hope to see you again soon. Hey, guys, this is Aaron with Louisville Bike Night TV. We're down here at Texas Roadhouse in Shively. Tonight we got Larry with us. Larry, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name's Larry. Um, I work in the IT field with Kindred Healthcare. Got an 86 Yamaha Virago. Uh, it's an older bike, but it's a pretty neat bike. I've got another paint job on it. Bob's or Bob Taylor House of Color did my paint. 
I've had several cars done by him, so I figured the bike would be the next best thing to do. Um, like I said, it's just an older bike, but it's been a good bike. I've got a couple more things I want to do to it. I want to put some chrome rims on it, a few other little things, but, you know, money and time is what that takes. But, uh, you know, I just like to get out, ride around, go out to Taylorsville Lake, ride around downtown Louisville. Um, of course, the fiance, she loves being on it. You know, anytime I can get out of the house without the kids, that's always good. So, I mean, we just like to get out and have a good time on it and just ride around, keep it on the road as long as I can. Um, when I first got it, I wasn't real sure if I was going to like the cruiser, so, you know, I kind of got a cheaper win. Just really liked it, liked the ride. You know, you can actually ride long distance and still be comfortable, so started putting little parts onto it here and there, and next thing I know, I've still got it and got a nice paint job on it, and, you know, just looking to put more into it. Yeah, I like this orange with the black and purple in it. I just basically looked around the internet, tried to find something I like. I always like the orange on bikes. I think that brings out everything about the bike. It shows all the curves, and you mix that with chrome, and it just makes everything stand out better. It's nice. Well, you got a nice bike here, Larry. We appreciate you for showing it to us. Thank, Thank you, Larry. Have a good day, man. My name is Bud, and you're watching Louisville Bike Night TV. Hey guys, this is Calvin with Louisville Bike Night TV out here at Texas Roadhouse in Shively for their Thursday night bike night. We've got Greg from gregsgaragetv.com with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I have a show on the web. It's a general power sports lifestyle show and uh, it's been going on now for a few months. Okay. And I've been doing motorcycle television for Speed Channel at CBS Sports, uh, some other networks for 15 years now. Okay. And uh, what's, what's your involvement with Texas Roadhouse? Well, on the side, I actually am the communications at PR and media relations director for the Texas Roadhouse cycling team, okay. only one of two sports that they support. So they're based right here in Louisville, Kentucky, and I was in town to actually do some stuff with the team, and I heard about this bike night, and I had to come down. Had to come out. All yeah. right. So have you seen anything here that you haven't seen other places? There's some amazing stuff here. I mean, some of the trikes that I've seen are amazing. Yeah. There's a, a Suzuki GSXR 1100, all right, like a 91, yep. but it's got a Hayabusa engine, Hayabusa front end, it's got Hayabusa gauges, all the electronics on it. We're going to talk to him later on. That's pretty exciting. Yep. Some of the Marines are out here, some guys in the Marines, uh, talking to people with trikes and finding out their stories and why they're riding trikes. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's so worth it coming out here. And, you know, Calvin, look, we hit the perfect day, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, it, I, is, I it, is the, it is the perfect day. Yeah. What? Uh, how often are your shows on the web? Uh, on gregsgaragetv.com, we put out a new show every two weeks, okay. and it, it shows up some dime on Tuesday, usually between noon and 6 o'clock east. Okay. Just kind of depends on my web guy. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, and I understand once you leave here, you've got some other places that are pretty exciting that you're going. Yeah, we're going to go to a private collector from Honda Collector here in Louisville, Kentucky, and then we're going to talk to him, have him explain some stuff, and then I'm going up to Milwaukee. We're going to go to Harley Davidson's museum because their 110th anniversary right. and uh, we're going to take a tour of the museum and we're going to show people on gregsgaragetv.com what it's all about. Awesome. Well, Greg, we appreciate you taking a little time tonight and talking with us. Hope uh, to see you again soon. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Thanks. Hey guys, we're back here at Louisville Bike Night TV down here in Shively at the Texas Roadhouse. Billy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's William. I run Zefside Tattoos and Stuff over in New Albany, Indiana. It's a tattoo shop. You know, I do everything that I can possibly do to survive in today's world. <laughs> uh, years ago, I was in the military, served like several people did, uh, retired out. Been building bikes ever since then. I figured, you know, everybody gets a, gives attention and you get attention with the theme bike. So I figured why not make a tribute bike to, you know, the military and whatnot in America. Well, the bike is originally a 97 YZF6R. Got the uh, welded crank, 900 drugs, 1,000 intake cam, exhaust cams, whatnot. I got the bike several years ago for my wife at the time, and the bike was totaled. Slowly started rebuilding it. I built the bike, got it going, and got rid of her, so now the bike's mine. And then I started with the modifications. Uh, originally, I just started with the green paint, and I'm never satisfied with that. One step led to another. Uh, started doing plastic welding, cutting, grinding, doing whatnot, whatever. I've installed, I got rid of the Ram Air Jet system, installed a 
Kane and air filter. I have two batteries, now I have two battery, you know, meters at the top. Uh, the seat I got done by Patrick Menard. I built completely the entire tail section. It's a 360. The wheel's actually two Dayton's off of a car. The bearings are in the swing arm, not in the wheel, which is kind of a different setup for most motorcycles. That's, that's why I have the outside drive on it. I'm able to do that. The brake system is on the jack shaft. Jack shaft offsets the chain so that the drive continues. Uh, I've got some 20 millimeter for uh, 20 millimeter bullets for my uh, pegs and uh, end caps. 50 millimeter is up there just for decoration. Uh, I've got a remove before flight tag that actually came off of a real fighter jet in Afghanistan. Uh, 1941 to 43 tail light off of Willie's Jeep. Uh, the tail section fins are off of a ZX-12 that I modified and welded on there. The front end is all smooth. It's got custom LED headlights. I've got a rear camera set up built into the rear end with the screen in the dash. Works a lot better than rear view mirrors. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much on here that I put on here. It's ridiculous. Of course, the grenades. and I've got the uh, Korean era gas mask on both sides. I actually use those in case it's raining. It works a lot better than the fabric ones I ever thought about working. Uh, two fenders on the front molded and modded together. All the rivets on here are hand cut and glued on there by, by me. You know, of course I did everything. Uh, 1,490 rivets. <laughs> Had to count them all. Now the one dog tag on the back is for one of my sons. Dog tag on the front is for one of my sons. I wear mine still. I've got eight kids. It's kind of hard to keep up with who's what, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we appreciate you for bringing it out, putting it on Louisville Bike Night TV, buddy. Appreciate it. My name is Bud and you're watching Louisville Bike Night TV. Hey guys, this is Calvin with Louisville Bike Night TV. We are in Shively at Texas Roadhouse for their Thursday night bike night. We've got Steve with us tonight. Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Steve Taze. I've been riding bikes uh, since I was about 16. I actually had a bike before I was legal to drive uh, delivering, new, delivering newspapers, sure did. And uh, I've had my driver's license all since then, since I was 16. But I've had uh, three new Harleys lately, uh, beginning back in 94 with a, with a wide glide. Okay. And uh, then I got a Harley Springer. It's the, uh, let's see, it was the Heritage Springer. Okay. And then uh, after that one, I bought an Ultra in 01, and I just traded it for this one. Uh, one of the one I traded off had 180,000 miles on wow. it, original miles, and I put every one of them on there. Nice. And how many miles do you have on this bike? Uh, it's uh, almost 20. Okay. Almost 20. I've had it since October of a year ago, okay. so it's approaching two years old. It's a 2012. Okay. All right, Steve, um, what, uh, are, you, are you retired at this point or are you still working? I am retired. I do a little work on the side. Uh, I call it my chrome money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, have, gotta have a little bit of sure, chrome sure. money every once in a while to spend, and I just uh, put some accessories on this one. Okay. Um, what, uh, tell us a little bit about the bike, what you've done to it, uh, what you'd like to do to it, any, anything about the bike you, you want to tell us. Well, like I said, it's a 2012. It's a stock paint job. It's uh, a two-tone, uh, the, the normal or regular, what you want to call the Harley orange. Right. And then the uh, upper portion is a metallic, which they call a tequila sunrise. Okay. And um, I uh, just recently installed, uh, purchased new wheels, tires there, a little bit more custom and, and uh, flashier. Got more chrome, you know. Sure. And uh, the, the chrome lowers, I put those on at the same time with the wheels. And uh, other than that, uh, it's been, I, I, I bought it for the, the color, to okay. be honest with you. Okay. I, I've told my buddies, uh, I, all I did was buy a $25,000 paint job. That, that's all of it. <laughs> what sure. can I say? Sure. Sure. Uh, but I had Bob Taylor painted up. I love the color. I bought it because of the color, but it was just too orange. I needed something to break it up. I didn't want to go with flames uh, per se, but 
I'm kind of like the old school guy that likes the, the pinstriping. You know, yep. I kind of grew up with that. Sure. So, and uh, Bob Taylor did a good job on that. Three colors, three tones, and um, I'm really, I'm really happy with sure. the pinstriping. Yeah. Now, did you tell him what you wanted, or did you just say put some pinstriping on it, and you showed up, and this is what he had? What I did, if you look at the tank, you've got the two colors that I used: the tan and the red. Okay. Now, about six, seven years ago, there was a Screaming Eagle model that Harley come out with that was pinstriped up, and and uh, they used that green. It didn't match anything. It didn't. You wouldn't have thought it would go with anything. And I always kept that in my mind. Actually, Bob Taylor didn't want to put it on there. He says you're going to ruin it. He says you won't like it. And uh, I changed his mind too. And and everybody that uh, says something about the pinstriping. They, the first thing they comment is, I really like that green. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and it, it's something that you wanted, and it yeah. customizes it to you. Yeah, yeah, I like the pinstriping. Yeah. I, I can remember I had an old pickup truck back, old 57 pickup truck. It didn't have 50 cents worth of paint on it, but I paid him $400 to pinstripe the doggone thing. So yeah, I like the pinstriping. All right, well, Steve, we definitely appreciate you coming out and sharing a little bit with, about yourself and the bike. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank you. This is Calvin with Louisville Bike Night TV. We are in Shively for the Texas Roadhouse Thursday Night Bike Night. We've got Sam with us tonight. Sam, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Sam Smith. I'm a president of a technology company here in Louisville. And I just love riding motorcycles, love playing music, love life. All right. What? How long have you been riding? Well, I've been riding a long time, but I've really started riding back again after the kids got grown and everything like back in 2003. Okay. All right. What? Um, What's the longest ride you've taken? Sturgis, South Dakota, on the bike. Okay. You have a very nice bike with you tonight. Thank you. Thank tell you. us, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, this is a CV Ro CVO Road Glide. It's a limited edition bike. Uh, Seven ninety two out of nine hundred in the world. Awesome bike. I love it. Yeah. What made you choose that bike? I mean, uh, other than the anniversary special edition, I mean, was there something that drew you to that particular bike? The four hundred watts of amplifiers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually it's just a great riding bike it's very stable uh, I had actually looked at the fixed fairing bikes uh, about six months ago I was in Florida when a hurricane was going on down there and it was absolutely one of the best rides I've ever had very stable yeah all right anything that you've done to this bike since you've had it there's not a lot you do to it at CBO but I have repiped it I've got the uh, full sack headers on it uh, like I said, they come out of the box pretty hot. So the only thing I've done is just some performance modifications. Okay. Anything as far as uh, customization that you want to do, you know, uh, changing anything out on it? I don't think there's anything I'd change on this bike. This bike's absolutely awesome. Just got it off the dyno. It's running absolutely fabulous. Harley's done a great job with this model. All right. One thing I noticed was the headlights. Tell us, tell us a little bit. Those headlights are the coolest headlights. They're better than my car headlights. Uh, you can see great with them. Uh, Harley's done a great job with these uh, these uh, blue headlights that glow at night. I mean, they're absolutely fabulous. All right. Sam, you mentioned that you enjoy playing music. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, yes. I'm an old musician. Uh, used to tour, uh, played professionally for many years, but uh, now I play at church. I play in uh, contemporary Christian music at River Valley Christian and across from Hillcrest and Goshen. And it's awesome. I, I really enjoy it. It's been a great blessing. All right. Sam, you also mentioned that uh, you're the president of, of a company. Can you tell us tell us a little more about the company and, and maybe what, what got you to that point? Well, absolutely. Uh, I'm the president of Click IT Staffing here in Louisville. We're a technology staffing company. And uh, actually, uh, I've started companies like this before, but this is a real blessing. Uh, it just It was an opportunity that came to me while I was sitting in my kitchen. An old partner of mine said, Sam, let's go do this again. It's absolutely a God thing. I had nothing to do with it. 
I've been with the firm for 15 years, and right now we're having a bl uh, we're having a blast. Uh, we're providing a lot of people jobs here in Louisville, and we're getting ready to open an office in Cincinnati and Nashville. And it's a blessing that can only be explained from above. Right, right. Well, that's awesome. Well, Sam, we definitely appreciate you coming out, sharing a little bit about yourself, and uh, telling us about your bike. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you, Calvin. Thank appreciate you. it. This is Calvin with Louisville Bike Night TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to our website, LouisvilleBikeNightTV.com. From there, you can check out our schedule, see where we're going to be. Make sure you bring your bike out. Let's have some fun.